The piano is an expressive musical instrument. The keys of the piano are touch sensitive. Pressed softly, they produce a quiet sound. Pressed forcefully, they produce a loud sound. The piano action is the core working part of the piano. The action transmits the energy of the keystrokes to the hammers, which strike the strings and produce the musical sounds. In home service, four kinds of vertical pianos are commonly encountered. Old uprights or upright grand pianos, studio vertical pianos, console pianos, and spinet pianos. These instruments all use the basic vertical piano action, modified as needed to fit the different case sizes. These are the basic moving parts of the vertical action system. The key, which is pressed by the player, the hammer, which makes the sound by striking the string, the damper, which quiets the sound by pressing on the string, the whippin, which uses the key movement to move the hammer and damper. These parts are mounted on rails, long rods or sticks which run across the piano, holding in place 88 individual sets of parts to play the 88 notes of the piano. When these parts work together properly, they use the performer's energy to move the hammer and damper. They also quickly reset the action to play their next note. The standard studio piano action provides the best model for understanding the vertical action. We'll use this model to show how the parts of the action work together. The action is at rest. The front of the key is up, ready to be pressed by the player. The hammer is resting on the hammer rest rail. The whippin rests on top of the capstan. The damper is pressing against the string. Let's look closely at these parts and show their basic functions. The key is a simple lever. The center rail or balance rail provides a fulcrum or pivot point for the key. The key is held in place by a balance pin on the balance rail and a front pin on the front rail. These key pins fit in slots or mortises in the keys. Inside the mortises are cloth bushings which slide quietly along the key pins. The front of the key is somewhat elevated at rest, leaving room to be pressed by the player. The back of the key holds an adjustable brass, wood, or plastic piece called the capstan. The capstan communicates the motion of the key to the whippin. The whippin sits on the capstan. It is hinged to the rail by a flange, which allows controlled, easy movement in alignment with other parts. The whippin heel or foot is shaped and placed to effectively transfer the key capstan movement to the whippin. Above the heel is the jack, which also pivots in a flange. The jack communicates the whippin movement to the hammer butt, the lower part of the hammer assembly. The hammer is now moving toward the string. The jack also has a toe. At the appropriate point in action movement, the toe contacts the let off button, which presses on the toe and swings the tip of the jack away from the hammer butt. This allows the hammer to freely strike and rebound from the string without jamming or blocking. The whippin contains additional parts that are crucial to piano function. The jack spring compresses when the jack toe moves down, and it pushes the jack back under the hammer butt when the key is released and the parts reset. The spoon presses against the lower part of the damper lever as the whippin rises, lifting the damper head from the string. All of the dampers in the piano can be lifted simultaneously by the damper pedal. When the key is fully depressed and the hammer has rebounded, the back check on the whippin contacts the catcher on the hammer butt and holds the hammer in check, preventing it from bouncing and restriking the string. When the key is released, the whippin drops down and the back check releases the hammer. The hammer return spring pushes the hammer away from the string, and in fast playing, the bridle tape gives a little tug. They help the hammer return to the hammer rest rail. The action parts are now back in their original locations, ready to be played again. With proper adjustment, all these parts work together to allow articulate, rapid, and expressive playing in the vertical piano.